Hello little scientists welcome to Allen Intellibrain We all have heard about the two types of spherical mirrors But do you know where these mirrors are used and based on which property In this video let's learn about the convergence and divergence of light rays through spherical mirrors which helps us to decide which mirror to use when From the Intelli smart box take out the reflection of light activity kit from the kit take out the ray box parts w b t l r and the foam pieces also take out the battery holder the mirror cello tape O rings, batteries, and the LED light bulb from the kit. You will also need a pair of scissors from your home. Take the ray box parts L, R, and B. Can you see these slits into plate B? Insert the extended parts at the middle of the plates L and R into these slits. like this r and l secure them with two o rings on the other side now fix the slits of the plate t onto the extended parts of the plates l and r like this secure this with o rings as well now take the small foam piece and insert the led light into this central hole like this now insert the extended parts of the plates l r b and t into the slits of the small foam piece in such a way that the led light fixed into the foam piece goes inside the structure like this now take both the big foam pieces and insert the extended parts of plates l and r into these slits like this Now put the batteries into the battery holder. The negative terminal of the battery will go towards the spring side of the battery holder like this. Let's close the battery holder now and attach its wires to the wires of the LED light. After attaching cover the wire joints with cello tape Switch on the LED light by turning on the switch on the battery holder Perform this activity at night or in a dark room for the best results Now take the split window W and insert it into the slits of l and r like this now take the mirror and remove its protective film like this now bring the mirror in front of the ray box and observe that the light gets reflected from the mirror can you see these reflected rays slightly bend the mirror inwards such that it turns into a concave mirror can you see any change in the reflected rays yes we can see that all the reflected rays converge at a single point we can also change its curvature to see the difference in the reflected rays now Carefully bend the mirror outwards 
like this such that it turns into a convex mirror again can you see any change in the reflected rays yes the reflected rays are now being divergent since concave mirrors are converging mirrors that's why when we curved the mirror inwards that is in the shape of a concave mirror we saw the reflected light rays converge at a single point similarly convex mirrors are diverging mirrors and that's why when we curved the mirror outwards that is in the shape of a convex mirror we saw the reflected light rays diverging away from each other concave mirrors are converging mirrors that make the light rays meet at a single point after reflection this single point is known as the focus of the mirror convex mirrors are diverging mirrors that make the light rays move away from each other after reflection visualize signs with intellibrain and fall in love with learning